again writing some code today I'm going to be contributing to Grotto like I did earlier this week um, Wiley the author the main author has asked me to put the docker file in for the rest of the contributors to use and for potential use in deployment and the he also asked for some auth to be put in place so we're going to go ahead and implement the Django auth, um, the sort of vanilla Django auth. And um, so let's pull up the docs on that. Uh, Django auth. I probably have looked at it recently. Uh, no. Yeah, here we go. So this tells a long story about how all of this stuff works. But there's only a few things in here that are actually um, immediately relevant. So let's make sure that we have um, we have this sort of base installation done. And let me make sure that I can see this thing on the screen. So this should be in settings. And these settings will probably become more complicated over time. But right now, they are fine the way they are. They have both auth and content types in place. So we should be ready to go there. Um, I guess I should do a little bit more introduction. Um, for those who missed the last stream on Grotto, uh, my friend Wiley is working on a, a game, um, like a web-based game, an HTML type game. A maze type game where you are tracking down your friends possibly through this maze doing fun stuff um, it's got a extensive um, generative room building uh, I helped add some adjacency building for those rooms and um, right now Wiley's Wiley's adding in his character building generation uh, um, scripts that he's worked on and so we're gonna see this thing start to have characters soon which should be pretty fun um, yeah Wiley was kind enough to let me stream while um, working on it so I'm I'm really happy to be doing this um, right and what I'm working on right now is to add the default Django uh, authentication into the project so basically when you when you visit the, the project uh, you'll be confronted with a login screen and you can register and go through all that that flow stuff before you end up in the uh, game lobby so um, Django has a lot of batteries included and this auth package is one of them and it, it sort of gives you an out-of-the-box experience for um, setting up user accounts and password management and all of that stuff so it's really convenient that it exists here for you at all um, but it's kind of annoying because it's not it's not like turned on by default or anything like that and so you have to kind of go through some some machinations to uh, see this thing work right so I'm just going through those now um, so the first requirements there are to have these two apps ready and we have those auth and content types second we need to have a middleware we have to have a session middleware which is here and we have to have an authentication middleware which is here so it seems like we have all of the base installation uh, done and since migrate has been run a couple times already I'm going to assume that this shouldn't be a problem um, bear in mind though if you've just added these things or if you're just starting a project you do have to run migrate to deal with these um, base apps or you'll get some kind of weird errors so moving on this is going to go into a bit of detail about um, users and, and, and what you've got to do and all that um, to do all this stuff telling you how you know how you can how you can run this stuff on the shell if you wanted to do something and and you can always incorporate that into whatever um, you know whatever project you're actually working on 
some more stuff here, more stuff here. A long, like, like I said, it's a long story that ends with, um, that ends with sort of not really a straightforward telling of what you need to do to make this thing happen. So that's kind of what this stream is about, just to show you how, how you do this practically without, you know, reading this entire novel worth of documentation. I do suggest reading this, but read it as you need it. Read it as it, as it makes sense for you to read it. Don't just read it preemptively before you, um, before you, uh, um, you know, have any context for what, uh, what a permission is or what the login required mixin is. Um, we'll come to that sort of organically as we um, deal with just incorporating this. Um, so one of the things, if you do go through a detailed reading of the view of the of this documentation, uh, that you'll find out one of the things you'll find out is that um, it, it's kind of a pain in the butt to change your uh, user model, and um, like so, if you wanted to add a field to your user model at some point, then that you know that means that you're no longer using the default user model. Uh, and that can be problematic uh, in uh, in doing that migration. Let me see if I can find where that is in the documentation here where it says that. It's been a minute since, like that might have been a Django 2 restriction. That's not, um, it's not uh, um, a problem anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to the user model proper. Okay, it doesn't have any doesn't have any warnings or anything like that at the top here. Hmm. Maybe I maybe I'm misremembering. Maybe it's not a pain in the butt. Let me see if Google can say anything. Django change user model. Mm. So when was this published? Okay, 2019, that's fairly recent. Maybe not. Starting your project with a custom user model. There we go. That's the thing I want to see. <clears throat> if you're starting a new product, here we go. Um, was this the page that I was on before? No, no, it wasn't. But I lost my place now. Let's see. I'm just gonna just gonna go back and click the link again. It took me right the hell where I wanted to go. Okay. Um, if you're starting a new project, it's highly recommended that you set up a custom user model, even if the default user model is sufficient for you. So here's the here's the relevant part of the documentation. Um, yeah. So changing the user auth user model after you've created database tables is significantly more difficult. Um, so since we haven't gotten to the point of using users in any way, um, now is a fine time to create a custom user model. Now it's not a huge deal if we don't change away from the default user model um, because you can always use like a one-to-one -one field uh, type of thing in a model within your app to supplement your uh, user model for whatever app specific data you might need um, but that adds a layer of like making sure that that supplementary uh, row in your database is created 
for every new user that ex that that that's made. So you end up having some administrative stuff that goes into uh, tracking that extra data and ensuring that that the that the the holder for that extra data is present. Um, so it's that that this is all to say that it's just a little bit more of a pain to do those one to one field um, uh, sort of user supplements. Um, but you totally can do it that way, and I have done it that way in other projects. So, um, but I I do think that it's you know it says it right here. It's highly recommended that you set up a custom user model. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, um, and. I didn't talk with Wiley extensively about where that would be appropriate. So let's just have a look. And so polls is bunk. That's a, that's, shouldn't be there at all. Um, oh my. Okay, so all of the corpuses are just sort of hanging out in here. That's not a problem, it just makes it kind of hard to find what we're looking for um, vegetables that's fun um, substances fungi I love it a lot of stuff here um, so what was I looking for right I was looking for models I want to see what models he defined so he's got a character um, character, okay, he's trying to tie it to a user. Um, okay, so this isn't bad. I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to make his custom user model here and call this user. And uh, in order to, um, in order to, uh, like, you, you wouldn't want to extend user. Right, like the, the user model proper. That's bad practice. That's that. I don't even know if that would work right. Um, I think you need to have. Um, I think it, it actually must be this abstract user that you are uh, extending, and that is in the same place. So abstract user, um, and that's because you really can't uh, you really can't subclass a model unless it is marked abstract. You'll get some weird some weird behavior. Oh hi, Mr. B. You coming in to, to say hi to that eye? All right, so we've got this abstract user. For now, there's nothing special that I want in there. I don't, I don't need any um, any special fields right now. I'm making this as a placeholder in case we need special fields. This is our user model. Um, in case we need to add fields in the future. In the future. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, uh, what am I doing? What am I trying to do here? Oh, I wanted to grab the, the um, URL of this documentation so that I can, oh wow, I really want to grab a more recent documentation version. Mr. B, we're not going to use that screen to watch. We're not going to use that screen to watch anything right now, okay? If you want to watch something, you need to go in your playpen. Um, right, 3.1, that's a better version so that we're not quite so old. How do I keyboard even? Okay. Um, I hate that. Let's dot 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 and then bring that around. Um, right. So hopefully that that shows Wiley. Or you know, hopefully maybe he watches this stream. I don't know. Um, that you know, if you're starting a new project, it's highly recommended. So no problem. 
Uh, it should still work fine. We're using user here um, to point to or to allow uh, characters to. Um, uh, th this should allow uh, any given user to have many characters that may enter the maze, um, which is pr I'm hoping what he wants to do. I think that would make it you know, makes it pretty fun. So let's save that. We're gonna have to make some migrations. It might complain at us because we have user model um, already defined. Uh, that may be a problem. Uh, we'll see. We will see. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of what it says in the um, documentation here and use the auth, auth user model. And I'm going to point it to, oh boy, do this before creating any migrations or running might just be that might just pose a problem for us here we're gonna find out if that poses a problem for us here so I want to point this thing to character builder models user I think that gets us what we want to see um, No, I'm checking on another project. I don't think you actually need the the dot models in there. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see what this says, just in case we need to do this. Okay, so that's problematic. It shouldn't be terribly problematic because we're shipping the database with the repo right now. So everybody's using a common database, which means I can fiddle with it and um, and just send along the new one and hopefully nobody will, will really notice too much. Um, but let's see what migrations exist. So we've got a few here. It looks like it's just changing fields. I don't think Wiley will be upset if I squash his migrations and recreate them. So that's probably what we're gonna do. Um, actually, I'm gonna chat with Wiley real quick and see if he cares about that. Do you care if I squash So I'm gonna check and see what other, cool, he's cool with it. I didn't think he'd mind. But it's always better to ask. Uh, so migrations, yeah, he's got a few here as well. They look pretty mundane. We're still very much alpha here, so. Um, much that we do this because it's kind of expected that you're gonna mess with uh, mess with the uh, mess with everything basically with software this young uh, mm, 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 mm. what happened here oh. um, So let's do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of them. Let's reopen my file browser here, and I actually I, that's what I was gonna check out. I'm gonna see if this polls app. I'm just gonna get rid of it 
because it's not it's not doing anything. I'm gonna ask him again. Were you keeping holes at the round? I'm assuming that the polls app can go. I'll get rid of that later if, if he says it's cool. Um, okay, so we're gonna dump all of these migrations. Let's say bye. Delete. Yes, go away. And we are going to delete the map builder migrations as well. deleted and let's go ahead and for good measure let's get rid of these as well this as well just the one and that should oh, I saved it again that's great delete yes delete close without saving all right let's do our let's do our new migration creation and see what happens uh, so CD projects grotto, and I think I have. A, oh no, I don't. Okay, so what was I using before? I was using Docker Compose. Uh, uh, oh right. Um, well, poop. What is going on? Spam risk. No problem. Bye. Um, what was I trying to do here? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna look at my Docker Compose file. I've already set a command for run server. I don't think there's a good way to override that on the command line. However, I should be able to invoke a Docker command directly. So, um, Docker help. So I want to do run, run a command in a new container. Perfect. Uh, Docker run, and then image. I think I can use a dot here. The command I want to run is make migrations. Um, I think I want it to. Kill itself, like to, to remove itself and all stuff about itself uh, after it's done running. Um, I I should put that after run option. No, I think that's a uh, top level Docker thing. No, it's not. I didn't like it. RM. Okay, that's awesome. Invalid reference format. It's not what I wanted to do at all then. I don't like this. Why why are you being a babby, Docker? Um, Docker run help. Just gonna have to do this full thing. So Docker build. Um, I wanna let's let's read the help for build real quick too. I wanna give a name to this thing. So I think that's T. Yeah. And then we can do uh, app a grotto app. Grotto app latest. I wanna build the path is here. Okay, if I remember correctly, this is going to take like a long time to build. So let's go ahead and let that do what it's doing. 
takes so long to build. No sweat. I'm gonna let it do what it's doing, and then we'll come around to um, we'll come around to making those migrations later. So for now, as that's building, we'll just give that a minute, uh, a number of minutes rather. Uh, let that thing let that thing build, and then uh, we'll come back to it later. Uh, in the meantime, uh, let's do the rest of this setup that we need to do for. Um, for getting uh, um, was this the page I was on? <laughs> yeah, this was the page I was on. Um, so let's do the rest of the guide here to get authentication views in place, and then we'll worry about um, and we'll worry about this building, about how long this freaking building takes. Um, I did fix up the Docker file a little bit so that it's not hopefully going to take so long to build, right? The, the, the thing that's changing most often would be right here pretty late in the build process, uh, well after the uh, installation of the requirements. So as long as the requirements.txt doesn't change, then we probably won't have too much build time in subsequent builds. We'll just let that run for a minute. Um, okay, so the next thing we need to do, we like we've dealt with the installation of the auth app for Django. We've dealt with the user model. We've got that sorted out. Uh, now we're going to focus on the uh, the views for this thing and they come included right there are there are um, there are, there are built-in URLs for doing all this stuff and we're just gonna go ahead and use those so we're gonna find a URL patterns somewhere and put that in place and the URL patterns that we want to add to should be the project URL patterns this top level here oh One second. And we're back. Telemarketer. AT&T DirecTV. I definitely don't want DirecTV. I'm certain of it. So I just hung up. I don't care. I'm not going to waste their time. I'm not going to let them waste my time either. It's probably an automated call anyway. Not wasting any human's time there. Um, <laughs> Where were we? Right, I'm putting in the putting in the views pull that back up and do the side by side thing. Oh god. Going side by side. Did not. Is not what we wanted. All right. So uh, when we hit these views, it's going to give us all of these things by default. So whenever we start this thing running, we ought to be able to to suss that out. Um So we'll get uh, we'll, we'll get access to all those things, but I don't think that these come with templates. Uh, well, maybe they do. <laughs> Login view. I'm gonna have to start this thing up to find out. And we can't start it up. Well, let's okay. We can we can recover from this. Um, oh boy, I forgot to make a branch. Let's make a branch. Branch we're gonna make is called um, auth. Easy peasy. Um, so in this, I had created or I had 
deleted all of these things. I want to bring those back. Let's shrink this down. Let's bring back all of the migrations. Thank you very much, Git, for not allowing me to hose myself here. We don't want that either. I'll just go comment that out so that it doesn't taint our stuff here. Still building spacey, no big deal. Um, wait, it's still building, installing the build dependencies for spacey. Um, um, and in models here, since it's going to complain about that. do that so that everything is sort of back to where it was before and I ought to be able we'll see if this works I ought to be able to just do docker compose up since we did have a container that was built yesterday or yet the other day where I worked on this um, yeah okay start it up no problem so let's see what we get when we go to localhost 8000 apart from a computer that is slowing down and not admin how come oh, accounts there we go accounts cool we got all the things um so if we go to accounts login what are we going to get login womp 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 okay so we don't have templates for these things Dang. So we have to implement our own template for any of these pages that we want. So that's a pain. It's not a huge pain because they give us starting points for everything. Yeah, so here's a sample registration.login. So if I have this, put it in place, everything should be great. Um, let's, let's just have a look, let's see what's in there. Well, first off, it's assuming that you have a base.html that defines a content block, which we don't. I don't think there's any base, um, there's any base here at all. So we might have to do a little bit of work to get that put in. I'm going to put it into Grotto, the, the project app. And I should be able to make a new folder called templates. And within that, I think it was registration. Registration login. Yeah. So let's make a new folder inside of that. Registration login HTML. Cool. There it is. Paste all this in there. It's not going to like it. Yeah, it's not going to like it because I don't have base.html yet. But no sweat. I'm going to make one of those next. New file base.html and I'm just going to snatch up uh, whatever was being used in room.html it's got all this mess put it over here um, I'm going to take away this and possibly do some stuff block I don't know if block, I think blocks have to have it. Man, I, okay. I don't, I don't remember templating language that well. Let's go back to login, let's see. Okay, yeah, it's using, uh, 
using the uh, percent signs there. Um, I did, 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 did. Do we have to end the block though? There we go. Um, I'm going to copy this because I'll need it later. sidebar for now. Section. So what we need to have then is a content block. Oh, this is, I know why the syntax formatting is weird. I had it set on uh, spelt syntax highlighting. So page title here, I actually want this to be content. So this thing ought to do what we need it to do. Um, so let's see what it looks like. Still didn't like that. Registration. Did I misspell it? Registration. No, I think I got it right. Login.html. Um, do I need? Do I need a uh, um, init.py? Let me consult another project here. I might need. No, I don't think I need that. Um, no, I don't think I need that. OK. Maybe I just need to restart the container. Oh, that's not. Oh, okay. Since I'm not detached, it stops it whenever I exit. Okay. So let's give it another try here. Huh. Where all did it look? Looked in app source templates. Why did it look there? Hmm. That feels strange to me. Yeah, the fact that it looked here, and it's not looking in any of our other apps, is what's tripping me out a little bit. So let's make sure everything looks straight here. Templates. That is registration. Login is there. I've restarted my Docker Compose. Does that grotto? Okay, so I there ought to be a template being found. 
because yeah okay but it's not looking there so that means maybe there's a problem in settings let's check settings we are using map builder config like we ought to Um, we <coughs> are using, oh, what's templators? Ah, what's this about? So actors are true, so it should be... Is it still finding rooms? Is there still a template there? Okay. Uh huh. Is Grotto an app in settings? No, that's our problem. Grotto. It's not being seen as an app, so it's not. Um, it's not uh, um, looking for templates there. Accounts login. Base does not. Okay, so that's. Ah, it's not looking for registration base. It's looking for base. So I need to move this up. Move you up a directory. So now, how do you like me now? Invalid block online compressed. Did you forget to load this tag? What? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I did forget to load that tag. So let's load our compressed tag here. And. Oh, static. Hmm. Have to have static too. That's great. Load static. All right. So that's our basic username, password, login thing. Um, I'll let Wiley deal with styling that. He is. Um, a straight up wizard at making things look pretty and cool and and um, and all that. So uh, totally in his wheelhouse for him to deal with that. Uh, so this will be a good login form. I think I'm a super user here. Dang. Okay. Didn't like me. That's fine. Um, so it's not gonna accept me because I'm not a user. I could make myself a super user, but a normal person couldn't do that, and I wouldn't be able to do that on the dev instance without logging into the, you know, the shell of the server. So, um, we need to make a registration page so that people can, um, can join, so that they can create their own user. So, and we, I think we have one. I think, well, maybe we don't have one. Uh, we have a view for one. Don't we? No, we don't. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, so let's make a red registration why 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 though so I think what we want to have then is yeah we just want to pop a new um, 
pop a new uh, uh, um, URL in there that will allow somebody to um, uh, that'll allow somebody to uh, uh, um, register for the site, and we'll call that good. So let's start by making a template for that, and this will be our uh, register. And we can take our cues from login broadly and say uh, your passwords didn't match. Um, pew, pew, pew. Well, let's not start with formatters. That's a bad place to start. Let's start with um, uh, let's start with username, password, and then confirm password. Password. We do need a already have account. Send them to send them to there. Uh, this is going to be URL, not that. It's going to be. So we have to provide our own registration view, it would seem. Shouldn't be a big deal. We let's do a URL for that first. I'm gonna put it into where am I gonna put it into URLs? I've got accounts here. Let's just do a path. Well, huh. yeah, I'm just going to do a quick and dirty here. Register. And this is URLs in Grotto. That's fine. I'm going to do then. I'm going to open up another URLs file just so I can remember all the little syntax there. Um, that should do it. Yeah, the second argument is the um, is the view proper. So I will say register view. file actually new file views.py and then import from that from grotto.views import register view since this is a class it's gonna be a class based view I need to actually do as view here so that it will like a just a normal view view thing um, and then let's open up that views file it's brand new and let's look at oh I got it right here let's get rid of that let's open up an existing views file so we can get all the stuff we want oh that's not a very that's that's pretty scant let's go with the map builder Use. 
That's better. <clears throat> um, and then, actually, I'm going to bet that they are going to give us something about registration. It would seem like really un -Django like to have something to say about registration. User creation form. Love it. Um, okay, I think that'll do what we want it to do. Not positive here, but let's give it a try. So we ought to be able to import that from Django probably contrib dot auth dot something or other. Contrib auth forms. Import that from Django views generic and I don't even know what that'll be but we can find out on classy class based views shout out to classy class based views form view should be what we want since we have a form class to deal with I will just grab this because that's easier and now let's create that register view. And let's consult what we need to include. Form class. Form class equals for, uh, user, user creation form, like so. We well, I don't think we need anything else than that. Maybe we do. Is there a model form view? Nope. Seems light to me. Ah, template name. Ob. I don't know why I didn't see that in the first place. Yeah, template name. Template name is going to look like registration and register. I didn't realize that there was already a form for this, or I would have used password one and password two here. Other thing I'm gonna have to deal with is the is the post uh, I'm gonna I'm just gonna scan the table of contents again and see if there's anything about registration. Nah. 
go back down to built-in forms. This is a little ambiguous. I'm gonna go look at the source code for this if I can. I definitely can because it's Django, so it's open source. So let's go to GitHub and let's find the Django. What would you look at that? I don't think I've started. So now it's start. Um, and then I'm going to be looking for Django contrib auth forms and in here we should see a create no oh god uh, create yeah creation form cool so we get these things there it's got field from okay so um, post clean save User super commit. Oh, it's the super. Okay. So it creates the user with that name whenever you save the form. Okay. That's cool. So we should just be able to do a standard Django uh, thing here. Actually, I want to see maybe a form view does the needful for us already. Just all of it. So post get form is valid form valid um, what happens in form valid where does this thing get saved does it get saved it doesn't save it Okay, no problem. We'll just do that ourselves. So we'll just override the form valid method here and then off we go. So super form. That should do a thing that should happen. And we ought to be able to just go form.save here and see that thing, see that user created. The next question is, do we go ahead and log that user in and send them on their way? I'm inclined to say yes on that. Okay, um, next. I don't think this matters at all. Actually, no, I take that back. Um, No, that's not the right place to do this. Let's be sure here. I want to check up on one other thing. I want to make sure that I'd like to make sure that we are verifying that the user doesn't already exist. Like I don't want somebody to be able to go to this page, type in my username.
and then change my password. That seems bad. I don't see anything preventing that. I guess I have to look at what a model form does. Model form comes from forms, which comes. There you are. Um, let's see where it really comes from. Probably forms, I'm gonna guess. Let's see if model forms in here. Nope. Uh, and it's probably in the models. Let's check for model form here. Okay, found it. Jeez, there's a lot for model forms. This might be a pain in the ass. Uh, oh, and I didn't even keep the page that I wanted, so that makes it more of a pain in the ass. Django contrib. Forms. Creation form, and it was using it's just using save. And then set password. Mm, yeah, so it I think I think here that This user creation form that seems totally asinine to me. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I certainly can't be the first person that's thought of this. So I really am confused. Field classes, username field, where are you? Yeah, it's not uh, it's not doing any value uh, whether or not the user exists. Let's test that. Let's let's I'm not I'll, I'll trust Django and then I'll verify. Um, so we've got our register here. We've got our grotto there. We've got a container still building over here. At least it's building wheels now. That's good. So long takes so long. Uh, template name. I need to put uh, an equal sign in, obviously. And that, I think, will get us close. Let's have a look. See. We have register available now <coughs> as a URL. I think we can, we can see it there. Yeah. Um, so register username I'm gonna call myself Paul Paul and I'll put in our password here an easy one no redirect to URL perfect I like it 
Um, that's not a problem for me. And then let's go back here and let's see if I can log in with that now. So account stop login and then call. And I'll try that same easy password. Ah, oh, turds. Hey, it took me in. I like it. Okay, so I think I'm logged in now. That makes me happy. Uh, I don't have a profile page. That's fine. Um, Wiley can figure out what he wants to do with the profile page and he can work from there. Um, What's next then? Let's check and make sure that I can't change my own password here, or that I can't surreptitiously change someone else's password. Let's go to log out. Okay, and then let's go to register again. And I want to type in Paul and just see. Um, It didn't like that, but it didn't tell me why it didn't like that. If form dot errors, uh, let's just make them print there. Beautiful. Cool. So Django is smarter than me. Surprise. Where did that even come from, though? For real, where did that... Uh, okay. Um, I'm going to... Ah. Man, I'm, that just opened up a whole can of worms in my brain. Let's figure it out. Let's figure it out. Abstract user. Abstract user. Okay. All right, yeah, I'll take it. Thanks, Django, for being top freaking notch every time. Every stinking time. Okay. So we have register. We have login. When we log in, something weird happens. Paul. Right. Tries to take me to that. So let's figure out what that's about. And then... Um, and then I'll make a lobby page and and um, and uh, actually, hang on. There's some documentation somewheres here. Ooh. Oh, that's definitely auto-generated. Wonder what he used to make that. That's really, it's really cute. Uh, damn it! I swear to Gorsh, I saw something about. Hmm. Where was it? It was a flowchart. Woot. 
some link back action. Thanks, Wiley. I appreciate it. Dang, he, I swear there was a, there was a flowchart around here somewhere that, maybe it was in the repo itself. Is it in the repo itself? Static. Oh, I don't want to go diving too deep into this. Man, I really would like to see it right now because it explained pretty well. Flowchart. There it is. Ha. Huh. Found it. So he wants a header, takes you to login, login. Or register so that's okay let me put that on the let me put that on the uh, where did it go ah too many tabs let's put it on the login page leave that to Wiley that's some um, but it does the right thing there's a registration link there's a forgot password link there okay so let's look back at the flow chart the flow chart there, there it is so registration both of those take you to the um, take you to the adventurers guild Let's call this page Guild. And this will be the Guild View as View name Guild Hall. I'm going to take Hall off of that. It's so we've got a guild view now. We need to do that class guild view, and this can just be a. Uh, oh fuck! Uh, let's just make this a view view. If I can. Um, a template view. It's perfect. Just a template view. <coughs> Where is that? That is in generic. Okay, so I can just pop that on there. Template view. Are we still building? Still building spacey. Love it. Uh, okay, so our template name will be guild. And 
we can make that template in a minute. Um, we may want some context in there. Um, get context data self quarks. I think that should be it. And yeah, it has quarks there, so I should just be able to do. Uh, let's do context the super dot get context data quarks and then um, I'll just put a little extra context in here so for the user um, we want to see what characters they have perhaps if we look back to our models yeah we know that um, I'll just leave that alone for now I would usually put a related name there but Wiley is new to Django so I'm gonna try to keep it as sort of st stock as vanilla and I'll just use the default uh, related name uh, called character set. So we'll check the request dot user and we ought to be able to get their character set all characters and then context dot update characters characters cool so now whenever we load up guild.html we'll be able to list our characters that exist for the given user now the guild hall rather uh, yeah this guild view we want to be protected as do as we want just as we want the map builder to be protected um, but before we get into that I'll do that next before we get into that I want to make sure that I can set up the uh, um, uh, so where are we gonna set that auth redirect um, I'm going to guess that they tell us that in here. I'm going to guess that they have the stuff I want to know as they list the, uh, the, the view, the login view. So login view. Template name, extra context, success URL, set of hosts, in addition. Oh, okay. Uh, that's cool. I didn't know that. And then, uh, yeah, I didn't know that this was a thing. If you are redirecting to some other domain, then you might have a set of allowed hosts. Get post accounts. Okay. Settings login redirect URL. So we'll set that. If I can find a setting. There we go. Login redirect. Oh, hey, it's already there. Um, I want to send this to guild. think yeah it finished nice I heard my computer stop burring and that told me that it was finished so happy 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 uh, that's just in time I'll go ahead and get this thing ready for uh, re re -cajiggering.
Uh, act, no, 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 hang on. Let me let me finish up the little test I'm doing right here, and then we'll try reconfiguring this thing. So I'm at login. What? Why'd you stop working, buddy? Come on, pal. Oh, it doesn't like it doesn't like that. Guild view is not defined. What are you talking about? What's wrong with you? Guild view is oh. Farts. Guild view. No issues. Good. Okay. So now if I do Paul and the simple password I like, it takes me there. It doesn't exist. No template exists, but that's fine. It takes me to the right URL, and that's what I care about right now. So uh, let's do the models stuff that we needed to do. Um, and let's, I just got word from Wiley that we can delete that polls app. So let's go ahead and just delete the whole dang thing. Delete it. Get it out of my sight. I don't want to see it ever again. And we are going to um, I'll go ahead and make a make quickly make a just a placeholder build.html to remind me that I want to make that later. Um, for now we were going to delete the migrations and start a new deleting character builder and then deleting out of map builder goodbye okay all gone now now that we have this close that out. Now that we have this working, I should be able to do docker run grotto. Wait, uh, I forgot the command already. Grotto app. Latest what what perfect I love it um, this is this is good stuff today Oh man, I forgot to do a thing though. Let's let's go back and let's delete all of those again. That was just a drill. Just a drill. Everybody relax. It was just a drill. Oh, it didn't even take effect because I didn't share the volume. Hi, this is my first day. My name is Paul. Um. Really wish there was a way to dynamic. Let me let me just look that up. Dynamically. Container. What does that sound? Oh, I have a meeting coming up soon. Uh, okay, there's no immediate answer to that, so I'm gonna. I'll come back to that later. Um, so my meeting is in 15 minutes, so we should be able to get. I think we can get most of this done before then. Um, I'll just do this the hard way and say, oh, well, let's fix the settings. And then um, I think I can just do a volume here, V. Um, let's check our Docker file. Actually, our Docker Compose says that better. 
Cryo. I think I can just copy that directly. Okay, that's fine. What? There's an absolute path, okay. Um, that's kind of annoying. Can I use that? Dot projects. Grotto. Grotto? Can I do that? Okay. No module name pulls. No problem. We'll get rid of that out of the settings. So recall just a moment ago, I deleted the uh, directory that contained pulls. So that line of installed apps needs to go away. Uh, character builder dot user. Oh, yeah, because I commented it out. Duh. Dumb. Okay, here we go. We're going to do this. It's going to happen. It's happening now. Oh boy, why? Why, 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 why? Where is this? It's in URLs? What? What's referencing that? Looks like it's in URL. Is URLs doing something with polls here? Come on. Quit playing with your dinghy. There we go. And we built up two migration files. I want to say everything is going to be beautiful in them. Room looks great. Uh, where are you even? Character builder, that's where you are. This looks great. It's user model, verbose name, abstract, false user manager it's tremendous it's so beautiful except that what the f is this crap oh that's from auth that's fine that's fine okay then let's do some stuff uh, i'm going to delete the database cd grotto r o c d uh, yeah r m SQLite 3 and then we should be able to do a let's just do a docker compose up it's not gonna like it because I don't have a database do I know there wouldn't be a database here but if I do this And there it goes. Cool. All right. Um, I'm going to guess that this works fine now if I go to it. Yeah, 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 whatever. Let's go to register. Let's go to Paul. Again, we have a fresh uh, database. Manager isn't available. What? What are you complaining about here? Don't be a turd.
Why? Why are you doing that to me? Come on, Django. I thought we was bro. Manager isn't available. Auth user has been swapped for care. What? Is it something I said? Um. Form. Okay, so it's when I'm saving that form that something is happening. Django contrib auth forms. Creation form user user is it because Django is being a turd? <sighs> Django, why are you being a turd, buddy? Why are you doing this to me, buddy? Come on, friend. Okay, so if you use you, uh, uh, why? <coughs> <coughs> it has user model right here. Why is it? I just don't understand, Django. Can you can you not use Ugh. What a bunch of jerks. Okay, cool. I guess we're gonna have fun with this. Um, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna do it in this views. It's kind of sloppy to to make your form here, but I don't I don't care. From Django contrib. Oh, I've already got it. <laughs> Take that. So I'm gonna do um, class uh, custom user creation. Form. All it needs to have is a meta that does it right, um, and I think I, I I'm I'm kind of tempted to submit a pull request because I don't know why the hell it's not using this. In the first place. Username field here. Um, and then from import get user model is going to come there. Yes, okay. So, man, it'd be cool to get a con contribution to Django. Maybe I will submit a pull request. Okay, got further. That's fun. I'd have to provide a success URL. No problem. No problem. Register. Uh, I'm gonna say that it ought to log you in. Log in the user here. And then for this, I need a success URL. And I think I have to actually do a proper URL. Okay, so that gets us back to what we were seeing before as the problem. Um, 
because I'm not logging in the user here. So let's do that login. I got about five more minutes. If I get this login going, then I can put some basic crap in here. Give give uh, Wiley a starting point. I'm scrambling now, so I'm gonna get a little sloppy. I bet. In block guild hall here, and then uh, ul uh, four. some other fun stuff we can do there. We have to have a logged in user here. So this should actually be a login required view. Uh, login required mixin. There we go. So note whenever you're using the login required mixin that you have to um, you have to put that mixin first. So I'm going to copy this mess here, and then we'll pop it in over here. And we can just do login required mix in, and that should do what we need it to do. If I start a private tab, we should be able to see that. Um, I'm going to update the views for map builder as well to have that same pattern in place because we don't want anybody to view the map unless they are here as a user. So index both of these. No, that's not going to work. Uh, Login. Um, so I'm hopeful now that if we go to um, the hell, where the hell did it go? There we are. If we go here, everything's right. If we go, if we go to guild, everything should be. I mean, it's still gonna throw an error. Oh, actually, no guild. Yeah, it's going to take me there. And then I should be able to say Paul Paso 209 Guild Hall. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, let me go to a private tab and let me try going to localhost and um, rooms. And it should, yeah, cool. It takes me to there. Um, and then. And then, uh, right, let's log in the user here. Um, and log. Oh, yeah, that's going to log in. Aye. How to log in. Not none. Log in. Just log in, really. Work. Want to log 
up a user in from a view use login it takes da, 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 login saves the user ID of the session da, da, da. new data set or new knowledge session da, 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 da. okay so we can do authenticate once we've saved the form then the user should exist we should have form dot data is it validated data or data here to put that in but let's just see okay I'm coming up on the end of my time uh, so I'm just gonna sort of bop this out real quick log in self.request Check that real quick. If I go to localhost register, then I ought to be able to put in a new name, Paul5, Paul4. There's no object validated, but okay. Local vars, then form. How do we? Dealt with forms fairly, fairly extensively in general, but I don't. Generally, I don't remember this stuff all the time, so I don't like bother committing it to memory because it's. You know, it's all here in the uh, it's all here in the docs, mm, and all here in the source code somewhere. So you can find it. Cleaned data. There we go. Cleaned data. Okay, let's get a fresh register, and then Paul five this time. Let me straight in. Good. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with that outcome. I've got a bunch of stuff changed in the working directory. Let me go ahead and uh, put it all in. Stage it. Stage it. Yeah, that's fine. Stage, stage, stage. 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 Let's go, let's go. All the migrations are fine. Oh boy, PyCat. But PyCs shouldn't be in there in the first place. But those are all being deleted, so let's get rid of all the poll stuff. Map Builder views. Login required. Cool. Base. Like it. Guild this should be simple. Login. We've checked a bunch. Works. Register works. Views. Works. Okay. Now with auth. So um, that's good. We'll send that up for Wiley to check out. Um, I didn't get to the Docker thing that I wanted to do. I didn't start there, but I will check off my I'll check off my enable Django off. And thank you for tuning in. I um, appreciate it. 
having viewers it's nice um, smash that follow button um, and I'll see you next time